Hello everyone, Cody from EGW here. Today we're going to do a product highlight on our Tika rails. Uh, we have a couple different offerings. They've had a, a few different rifles over the years and we have rails for a few different models. So we're going to get right into it. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is the Tika 595. This was one of the predecessors along with the 695 to the T3. Uh, the 595 was offered in short action calibers and the 695 was long actions. And these rails uh, that we offer for those two guns, they're only offered in standard duty, which is our 6061 aluminum. Uh, we offer both of them in zero and 20 minute of angle. They come with standard 648 screws and um, you know, all, actually all of our rails come with all the hardware needed to mount them to the gun. So all the ones we're gonna talk about today, plus everything else that we do, uh, they all have all, all the screws you need to mount it. So the, the 595 was a short action again, the 695 is the long action. Um, same material, same anodizing and everything, it's just slightly different hole spacings for that specific model. And uh, we do zero and 20 MOA for that. The next one that we'll get into is the, the current Tika model, the, the T3. Uh, we make two different rails for that. We have our heavy duty 7075 aluminum and standard duty 6061. Both of these are offered in um, zero and 20 minute of angle. They also come with the hardware. They come standard with 648 screws. That is what Tika has been using for their receivers since 2004. Prior to 2004, they used metric screws. And we do have those here. If you know that you have an older rifle, you can get the hardware from us for those. Just give us a call or make a note on your order and we'll switch them in for you. Uh, Tikas are also, or the T3 I should say, is notorious for having tight threads in the action. And that's something that we run into. Uh, guys will have a brand new rifle, they buy our stuff, and then they call us and they say that they can't get their, their screws to start in the action. And I know Tika used to use plastic plugs in the holes to protect the threads. So when those plugs were removed, it would leave some plastic residue in the threads. And 648 is pretty fine, so it doesn't take much to keep a screw from threading in. So what we found is if you can run a tap through the threads, um, that's the best way. If you don't have a tap, you can clean the threads out with a little bit of oil and a Q-tip. You can just run it down through the threads and then back it out. And that seems to help. Uh, it'll lubricate the hole, but it'll also remove some of the uh, maybe grease and plastic residue that would be in there from uh, the manufacturing process. And it just makes it a lot easier to get the threads started. Um, so just be aware of that if you have a T3 and you do buy one of our rails um, and you have trouble, those are a couple things that you could try. The next rail that we're going to talk about is for the Tika T3X TAC A1. And this is their T3 action, but it's in a chassis. So it's got a handguard on the front with a Picatinny rail on the top. This rail, uh, we had to make it a lot taller than the other ones to match up with the handguard. Um, but it does, and it's pretty cool. We make this one in 20 and 30 MOA. The gun from the factory comes with a zero, so there was no need to make another one there. Uh, we provide the screws for this and also recoil pins to put into the bottom of the rail to match up with the receiver. This is an extremely robust design. It fits really well. You could probably put it on with just the pins and be okay. Uh, it's just, it's super cool. It uh, indexes with the handguard in the front. There's a, a threaded hole there as well. So it's held on very, very well. This one is only available in our heavy duty 7075 aluminum. And like I said before, it's a 20 and 30 minute of angle for that. And then the last one that we have is for Tika's newest rifle. Uh, this is their first ever rimfire, the Tika T1X. And this rail is another cool design. It sits over top of the dovetail that's on top of the receiver. And then it screws in place with four screws. And again, we include the hardware with it. Uh, this one is offered in zero and 20 minute of angle. So if you're somebody that's competing in uh, NRL 22 or some of the other uh, 22 competitions, we make it in 20 MOA, probably be able to get you out to about 300 yards with that one. And then the zero minute of angle, if you're using it for normal rimfire stuff, that would get you out to probably about 150 yards or so. Um, so those are the Tika rails that we have. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Um, join us next week. We're going to do some more videos. We're going to try to keep them uh, more frequent. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.